All right, so it's Saturday morning. It's very, very warm, but very windy. So obviously we couldn't go to Ben Nevis today because it's not uh, advised to go up the mountain at uh, over 100 miles, 100 kilometers an hour. So we're starting at the uh, National Ice Climbing Center. Hopefully the, uh, you can hear me and the sound's not gonna be too bad. But we're gonna be walking along at a lower altitude and we're going to a place called the Blackwater Reservoir. Supposedly it's some scenic views. So stay with me and we'll see where we get to and what the views look like. There's a fair amount of us. Following the man in the, uh, the orange jacket. little micro lodges and camping area. And little pods. going on a few years ago this was all a building site and this was all dug up and all the pipes are underground and they come from up the top of the hill up there down into this building which is where the pumps the uh, generators are and this is another sort of hydroelectric little uh, substation Scottish whatever water so and then they replant it all as you can see but okay a few years ago we used to come up here and you'd be dodging all the equipment and pipes and all that kind of stuff, all the works. So, stripped off of there, had to take off the rain jacket. It was way too warm. And I dug out my pole as we're getting into a rocky area. Don't want to twist an ankle going up. Nice being in nature. So we're still walking along the inside the path. We're protected by the trees. You can hear it's still windy above. You can see the trees blowing up there. It's a little bit uneven ground, so you have to watch where you're stepping. But it's it's a pleasant, pleasant walk. You see the old trees twisting above the path. It's a pleasant day. Might have to lose my old hat there. Getting kind of a little warm on above too, so I will see. Hey Stephen, this is bog myrtle if you didn't know it. Mm -hmm. and bog myrtle is um, has aromatic leaves and is one of the main constituents of a midge spray called smidge, which you may have heard yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. And this is one time. of the main yeah. components, constituents of it. And it's apparently oh, good for keeping the midges off because they don't like the they don't like the smell of it. Now <laughs> when it's windy like this, that's gonna that's a, there won't be many midges anyway. But they're sent to it. Not yeah. much. Well no, there's not much at the moment yeah. is there. I think it's probably it's lost most of its essential yeah, it's oil. It's dried out as well. Yeah. 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 But there's no need for it. There's a beautiful view right there. The waterfalls coming down from the mountain. The views you can see, um, they're very nice. It's hard to 
know if the GoPro really picks up all the intricacies of the area, but it's a very pleasant walk. Um, if you're ever in the area in Scotland, there's hundreds and hundreds of different paths and trails. Not everyone goes there to climb Ben Nevis. There's tons of views around. It's very scenic, um, you know, and if you want to really enhance the experience, if you go there with Russell and his team and you through ma mountain trails, they're very, very proficient on hiking and will bring the best out of the whole experience that you can see. Um, we're just going through this lighter level. It's probably, we go up to about 400 me uh, meters up uh, just because of the weather. No, no. no we, we to, uh, oh. Oh. Little so, signs of it already. We're actually entering a prisoner of war camp from the Second World War. Wow. So they'd keep them up here. Presumably to do labouring jobs, or what, I don't know, but it's like there isn't, there's only really one way out and that's the way you came in, so yeah. it's kind of a good good place to keep a few people, isn't it, if, they, if you want to keep them. So if you don't behave yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll see sort of a few, it's been a while since I've been up here, so it might have even fallen yeah. down, but there was a few, you see a few chimney stacks and, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I saw and one concrete back there. sort of mm -hmm. slabs and stuff like that, but not much left now. That's what Google did, they, they bought up, half the dot. Lovely, eh? If we had water, this would be a lovely little waterfall. But it'd be also hard to walk across. My photogenic waterfall pits will not materialize this year. That's usually beautiful cascading waterfalls. Oh, we believe you. <laughs> uh, a metal wire, nothing too fancy. But it does give you a bit more perspective. But we, we had two people that there. It's a fair drop. Well, at least I'm from home, so yeah, yeah. You can have a coffee. Yeah. 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 So, I've been walking for about an hour and a half now, and you hear the trees above you whistling away but inside it's actually very warm and dry and there's not a breeze to be found inside the trees so it's a very pleasant walk i'd recommend anyone coming here spending a day going for a walk in the mountains and the highlands in scotland very picturesque
just stopped for a little bit of water. Had an apple and a little bit of chocolate. We're just taking a rest here at the rocks and I had to change the battery and we're getting going. Island for sale. Put a little house up there. Yeah. Right. What do you think there? What do I think about what? Time for a little lunch. Oh, definitely time for lunch. Yeah. 
Nice little spot. Yeah. Found an old house here. On the side, it's all locked up, but it's away from the elements because it's a little raining and windy still. So we're gonna take a little break, have a little sandwich. So as you can see, the weather's turned. It's uh, still very windy, but now it's accompanied with rain. So just had a spot of lunch, and now we're heading back down towards where we parked. This is a graveyard that was from workers that helped build the dam and uh, the hydro plant that was used for the aluminum factory. Got all the names pretty pretty good. 1908 is one of them, 20th of August. That's the 14th of August, 08. It wasn't a good year. What was the year? 1908. 1908. back to the, the lodge we're waiting for the to unlock it a very successful day what do you think oh, there, Andrew? Wonder, a wonderful day a class yeah. day 18 and a half kilometers we did and we had to change route because of the weather, weather. conditions hopefully tomorrow we'll get a yeah. shot at it and today was wonderful and we've no sore limbs and no blisters on the feet no that's a good day very yeah. good